Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today I've got a brand new reaction for you guys. It is Skrillex with Justin Bieber and Don Tolliver. Uh, don't go! Uh, Skrillex has been on a tear recently, coming out with a ton of new tracks. Uh, he had, what, uh, Supersonic, uh, In Maquedo, In De Ghetto, or En Maquedo, I don't know how to say that exactly. Uh, what else was there? There was one other one beforehand, too. Just a lot of stuff. Oh, Tubes Are, Butterflies. He's been going crazy, so this is the, the now sixth single to come out uh, in the last uh, year from Skrillex uh, for an upcoming album. Who, who knows if this is actually on the album, I'm not sure at this point, but a uh, new song, uh, Don't Go, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, the first songs were a little interesting. You had a wide variety of stuff from like Indigetto to Supersonic to Butterflies. It, um, it was just a little all over the place in terms of uh, what we're actually listening to. But uh, I'm interested to hear this song. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's. I think we'll just jump into it. Uh, this is "Don't Go" by Skrillex, Justin Bieber, and Don Tolliver. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, that was uh, "Don't Go" by Skrillex, Justin Bieber, and Don Tolliver. Uh, that was probably of all of the uh, six singles to be released this year, uh, probably the safest song. I would say that's probably the word I would use to describe it as safe. Um, there really wasn't a ton going on. This honestly felt like it was just a like produced by Skrillex song. I think it could have been like I, it, I honestly that could have been labeled a Justin Bieber track featuring Don Tolliver, and I wouldn't have known the difference in in the production qual or features and stuff. But um, yeah, so it's a. Uh... <laughs> It's interesting. Um, I mean, Biebs tries to, or does, rap a little bit on it. I mean, he's, he's it's enough flow and uh, pace for it to really feel like an actual rap rather than uh, just him singing. And so I feel like he does more of a more paced, more high tempo kind of spoken uh, lyricism rather than a uh, really like, what's the word? Just, just a vocal performance. It felt like more of like more of a rap than a uh, vocal than singing. But uh, it wasn't that bad. Um, I had never heard of Don Tolliver before. I, before this song, I had no idea who he is. And I know nothing about him. I don't know if he raps. I don't know if he's... I don't know what he does. Um, so I, I don't have much to say on that. I, the, his part of the song, I didn't think, um, took me away from anything. Like It didn't feel like it was too one way or another. I didn't have any strong opinions. And uh, honestly, I think that's just how I feel about the song in general. I don't really have strong opinions about it one way or another. I just feel like um, for someone that was so industry leading for so long in Skrillex of starting the whole like dubstep bro step craze and uh went on that kind of uh trappy bandwagon with the Jack U project and just how um how just like so many other producers either looked up to him to what he was doing and it was so uh just so I would say forward thinking uh in what he was trying to produce and what he was producing at the time and it was he was really the trendsetter of what was happening in the EDM world uh, specifically and uh, this, all this new stuff uh, just doesn't feel like he's doing that anymore. It doesn't feel like he's, he's, well, he really isn't that trendsetter anymore. Like of all the six singles so far, um, Supersonic was the only one that was like uh, really, I would say really interesting to me. Um, the other ones have just been weird and some of them have been really bad, honestly. Like it's just, uh, it's just strange. It feels like for someone that was so consistently ahead of the curve and defining what the EDM landscape was going to be like, um, and that does bleed into other genres and the music industry as a whole, that he's just kind of taken a step back and just been like, you know what? No, I'm just going to do chill stuff. I'm not going to do much anymore. And it just, I'm going to make safe songs and they're not going to be crazy anymore. And it's just, and not, not that I need them to be crazy, but I just, I feel like I expect more. I feel like I just expect more when it comes to like Skrillex. You're like, Honestly, some of the the Beeb songs in recent days or in his last little bit, uh, I like honestly I think are more interesting than this song. Um, I, it's not a, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It just feels like it's there's really not a ton going on. Um, I, I honestly really did like the flow that uh, that Justin Bieber had on uh, at least the first half of the song going into that first uh, chorus, and. Um, just production wise, I didn't really feel, didn't have that zing. It didn't have that energy of what I really expected or wanted from uh, a Skrillex track. Uh, I mean, these six singles that he's released beforehand are just weird. They're just all over the place. Like 
Butterflies was kind of a safer EDM song. I think it was, I think it was House. Uh, Too Bizarre was this weird, like, uh, rock slash rap kind of chill one that I actually enjoyed a little bit. Or I enjoyed it more so over time. Supersonic, I thought was great. Had a meaty bass line there. And then uh, Into Ghetto and, and Maquato or just, uh, they were just weird songs that, that were not my style at all. And so... Um, this one is, is kind of in that too. Like it's, it's not bad. It's like a really, really safe song. I think is the best way I would put it. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts are about the song in the comments section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just kind of meh? Did you just, I would just love to hear any and all opinions on this track in those comments section below. I've been Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.